Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video on Fetch or ASI, whatever you want to call it, but I'll, I'll keep calling it Fetch until they actually uh, complete its uh, phase two, which who knows when that will be. And honestly, it's it's pretty bearish that it's taking so long. Uh, but wanted to give you my thoughts on on the on the, the the recent news that's potentially injective is joining Fetch, and then we'll take a look at the technicals. I mean, the technicals uh, I would delete this because I don't think this is most likely. It was for the thumbnail, and it's a possibility. But all right, we'll get to that. Um, and so far, I, I do think that if you watch my previous videos on on Fetch. I do think you would have been prepared for this move. I mean, what, what, what we said the last time around uh, yesterday or last week, excuse me, um, is that there was a real possibility of breaking down below our main support level, which was around 1.35, 1.32, which we did with the uh, bad news on, on Friday. And we haven't been able to recover, but we'll get to that later. First of all, let's uh, talk about the news, uh, which is the following, all right, uh, that there was some sort of a proposed partnership between ASI and, and Injective. Now, what I heard from a lot of people is that Injective is potentially joining the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, aka ASI, aka Fetch. Um, that is not necessarily what I read, all right? So, so what Injective has said is that the official on-chain governance proposal to integrate Fetch and Injective is now live. So to integrate Fetch and Injective. And then if we actually look at that proposal, um, what it says is it's it's about reviving an expired uh, IBC client, right? So so that's basically connecting different Cosmo, Cosmos uh, chains client for Injective. So to substitute the IBC Lite client for Injective to resume cross-chain transfers between Fetch Hub, which is one Atom blockchain or one Cosmos block, blockchain, let's call it like that. That's the wrong terminology, but all right. And Injective, which is another um, chain. Uh, within Cosmos. So this is, in, in my opinion, I, I don't think this is injective joining the ASI, uh, Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. It also makes no sense, right? Injective, in my eyes, is, is definitely not an AI project. Um, sure, they have some, some AI-related features, such as AI agents, that's true. Um, but I would... But, but I, I would say it's a massive mistake if they join, all right? And it, it smells like, like something bad, all right? Why are all of these projects that are doing fine... I would argue Injective could be doing better, but still, why are they all joining one project? Like there has to be some sort of incentive why they're doing that, uh, which is good for the projects, which inherently I don't think is good for holders. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think this news is bullish because I don't think it means that Injective is joining the, the Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance, but if they would, and if we do get new updates on that, then I would find that bearish. So far, the price of Fetch hasn't really moved because of it. The price of Fetch in my eyes is still bearish, or at least has turned bearish since the move on Friday. You can also see, I mean, just in general, if, if you look at Fetch here, there's not a lot of momentum. Momentum is down a lot, as you can see right here. Uh, we haven't really had any new momentum kick in since the end of September. Uh, even with the bullish momentum we saw from Bitcoin earlier this morning, nothing really came of, of bullish momentum from Fetch. Yes, we have reclaimed some sort of a level around 1.25 and 1.24. But what we need to do for Fetch to turn bullish here is we need to get some sort of a breakout above this level here at 1.35. Right. If we can break above that, and that's also what's in the thumbnail, then we're back in this range, and then we're talking. Right. Th then we can actually start to talk about a bullish fetch again. Uh, but if you look at the AI narrative, that's not doing great. If you compare the volume right now uh, to, to the volume we had uh, back in September, it's super low. There's no real momentum coming in, like I said. Uh, so, so at the moment, given the fact that we've also established a technical downtrend, I would say it's most likely that's we will continue the downtrend um, uh, slowly towards this level right here between 1.1 and $1. Now, if the market stays relatively strong, that could take some time, right? I mean, it's, it's, not going to be, it's not going to be one dump into that level, but I do think that general direction under the current circumstances, so if the circumstances change, I'll let you know. I'll do a, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video update, um, but under the current circumstances, I do think this is most likely, and I definitely don't see Fetch as a buy opportunity. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Have a great week. Uh, take care and bye.